Hey, what's up, guys? And in this video, we're going to be doing top 10 skill champions in MCOC. Um, <clears throat> so, I did a list in 2020, or like early 2020, of top 10 bleed resistant characters. And um, it's been about two years since then, and I want to remake that list because, you know, a lot's changed. And we're going to have the same rules as we did last time. So, like, no characters that can, like, shrug. I'm thinking about just, like, bleed resistant characters and immune. So, like, no Ghost, no Shang-Chi. Just, I'm talking about characters that, like, you don't need to do anything that already, like, don't gotta worry about Bleed. So, coming off at the number 10 spot, his fall from Grace. He was number 4 in 2020, but now he's number 10, Corvus. Corvus has actually fallen out of the meta a lot in the last year, I'd say. Especially ever since Hercules came out. Because Hercules is basically just Corvus, but better. But... Unlike Hercules, Corvus is actually just resistant to bleed. Um, Hercules can live with his immortality, but you know we're not really using that for this list. So Corvus is bleed resistant, which means he heals when he has a bleed on him if you have willpower, so which is nice, especially when using suicides. He has high damage. You all know how Corvus works, but it's just been too long. He's just not that good in the meta anymore, so he's just barely made the top ten. I, I predict when I make this list next time, if I do, or like in a year from now, he probably won't even be in the top 10 for me at least. And also, this is my top 10 list, so if you have a different one, that's fine. I'm just, for me at least, what I would think, helping like newer players pick just like, if you need a bleed immune character, just like who you can throw into the fight. So that's number 10, we get Corvus. Number 9, he should be around here somewhere, yeah. Number 9, we have Ultron. Ultron, with his buff, is actually a pretty strong character with high damage output and strong bleeds. And, you know, as being a robot, he has bleed and poison res um, immune, I believe. Where is it? Yeah, I don't know where it is. But, you know, he's just a robot. And robots are immune to that always. So, bleed and poison immune. But, just for this video, he's bleed immune. He's a great character for the final boss in Act 7, the Kang boss. I used him. He's amazing for it. Overall, just a really good character, and, you know, most of the characters on this list are robots, or at least, not most, but at least a good chunk of them are, for obvious reasons. The tech class has a lot of good anti-bleed options. So for number 9, we have Ultron, and, la and when I made this list last time, he wasn't even in the top 10, because it was before he got buffed, obviously. Number 8, we have my boy Colossus. Colossus is another character like Corvus, who kind of isn't in the meta right now at all. People aren't really using Colossus for much. But he does have high damage, and he is bleed immune, so you gotta, gotta put him on the top 10 list. Just very basic character, just heavy, uh, parry heavy, parry heavy, and then most people are dead. He's heavy, he's do a lot of damage, and yeah, he's bleed immune, obviously, it was, um, you know. Where is it? Let's see. He's immune to bleed, incinerate, cold snap, and frostbite. So, yeah, he has three immunities, but... Just for this video, we're focusing on just his bleed immunity, but yeah, he's a high damage mutant output. High damage output mutant character who's immune to bleed, and he's number 8 on the list. La uh, the last video, he was number 6. No, no, number 7, we have my boy Warlock. I love Warlock, but... Kind of like other characters on this list, he's actually fallen out of the meta a little bit. He's still really good in, like, Battlegrounds and stuff, but, like, in the tech class, he was always number 2 behind Ghost, and now I'd say he's probably number 4. Um, but that's the reason he's lower on the list, but if you need just like a strict, if you just need like a poison immune, I mean like a bleed immune character, he's good, it'll work, but his damage output isn't as good as like the higher characters on this list, so that's why he's lower. Um, he was number 7 last time I made this video too, so his position actually hasn't changed, still number 7 in both videos. But he's a really great character, best heal block character in the game. Um, he has armor up, so he's immune to war, uh, Havoc, but overall, really good character. Um, Warlock, pretty just solid character. You know, if you get him, he'll help with a lot of content. But just for bleed purposes, he's number 7 on the list. And number 6 is one of my favorite characters to play. We got Cosmic Ghost Rider. I love Cosmic Ghost Rider. This guy is just, like, just so good. He, he's just so fun, like, just to do, like be at like the monthly event quest i just always bring him on my team just because he's just good for just dealing with high health pool opponents that just can just get melted really quickly um cgr is an amazing character just crazy damage and as you can see he has bleed and incinerate immunity 
so that's nice. But once again, we're just talking about bleed for this video, so he's number six on the list. Uh, when I made this video last time, he was number three, so he has fallen a little bit because new characters have been released. But if you just need someone who's just snappy and can just get you through fights, and you need someone who's bleeding you, just throw this guy in there. He'll do great. Number five on the list is where is he? I know he's low PI. Magneto. Now, Magneto has fallen out of the meta also. People don't run him as much as they used to. Um, he's number five in the list. The last time I made this video, he was number two, so yeah, he's fallen. But he's still an amazing character. If they're a metal character, he, he, he just shits on them. It's just that simple. And he's bleed resistant instead of bleed immune, which means he heals from it also. Like Corvus, if you have willpower, and let's be real, most people in this game have willpower. Um, yeah, he just shits on metal characters, pretty simple. He's 90% uh, resistant to bleed and shock, so he probably will just heal from it. So if you need just, if you need a bleed immune character who, and you're, if you're fighting a metal character and you need someone who's immune to bleed, Magneto will probably shit on them. So, he's number five. Now number four is a character I don't actually have. What star do I even have her at? I think I only have her at the restar. But where is she? Oh no, I don't even have her as any star, I guess. I don't have a Mega Sentinel, apparently. But a Mega Sentinel is the number four spot. So I don't have her, and I don't know that much about her. But I know people love her, and I see people using her a lot more than Magneto. And she's a robot, so she's obviously bleeding poison immune. So. Um, yeah, uh, she has no damage, actually, from Bleed and Poison, which means she heals from them. I, I think so. I, I don't know. I don't have her at any star, as you can tell, but she's Bleed and Poison resistant, I believe. And she's a great tech character, one of the top prestige characters in the game. Um, just one of the best robots in the game. She would be the best robot, but in my opinion, from what I've seen, number three goes to a similar character. You probably could have already guessed, but Nimrod is number three for Bleed Immune. He's very similar to a Mega Sentinel, but I think he's still better just because a Mega Sentinel is better for longer fights from what I've heard, and this guy's better for shorter fights. And the truth is, the majority of fights in this game are shorter, like 500 health less, and like 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 Act 8, Act 7 content. Uh, he just will shred them, and um, that's all you really need. Mo most content of the game is smaller health pools, so I feel like Nimrod's the better character. But I, I think Nimrod is the best robots in the game, as far as I can remember, at least right now. Him and Omega Sentinel, they're tossed around as who's better, but I think he's better. I don't know much about him either, like Omega Sentinel, but I know if you need a bleeding in character, he's really good. High damage output fast. And that's all you really want when you're looking for a character. So next, the top two. Um, this was a toss-up for me. Um, I, I didn't know, but I'm going to stick with my gut. Even though I like the second place character more than the first place character, I still think he's just not number one. So in number two, we have my favorite character in the game right now. Apocalypse. Apocalypse isn't actually bleed immune, but after I think eight seconds in a fight of having a bleed on him, he will become permanently bleed immune for the rest of the quest. So for me who runs suicides, it's just like you just wait out the first few seconds of a fight and then he's bleed immune for the rest of the entire quest. Apocalypse can do it all. He's so good. I mean, it just he's just so good, man. Like he's in my opinion the best mutant character in the game. Um, he just does so much damage. He doesn't let enemies shrug off debuffs, which is actually really nice for fighting shrug characters, like certain skill characters. He just shit stomps everyone. I also did. I also recently did the Abyss challenge with the Karina's challenge with all mutants, I think it is, and he was just such an MVP for that. With um, I forgot what synergy it was, but he's also just you know he makes so many mutant characters stronger with his horseman ability, and him himself is just amazing. So if you need someone bleed immune, just stick this guy in his team and he'll just put in work in every quest in the game he can put in work like he's just always just so valuable but I can't give him the number one spot because the number one spot is a character that isn't really in the meta that much but if you're in a scenario where there's a lot of bleeds I don't think like anyone is better than Omega Red 
Omega Red is so good. First of all, he's bleed resistant, not bleed immune, which means if you're in a quest with a lot of bleeds, he's just constantly at full yellow bar, full healing. And while he has a bleed, his death spores are active, and they just do so much damage. Like, he can counter magic, he can just counter so many characters. He can get around so many interactions in the game that are annoying just because... He doesn't have to hit the opponent many times for him to do, like, massive damage. And in War, he's just such an MVP still. Like, I know he's out of the meta, but he, he can put in so much work. That's just the truth. He is a little bit out of the meta, and you do want him a high sig. But if you got him, and he's decent sig, and there's a lot of bleed somewhere, like, I, I just don't think anyone can just shit stomp. Other than Ghost... Ghost can shrug, but she's not part of this list, obviously, for the reasons I listed earlier. This is just characters that, this is just bleed immune and resistant characters. I'm not counting characters that can shrug like Shang-Chi, Ghost. There's a lot of other characters that can shrug, stuff like Aegon, Hitmonkey. I'm talking about just characters, like, that can just, don't have to worry about it, okay? I also don't want to list characters that have to switch phases, like Black Widow Clairvoyant, for example. Because say you need like an incinerate immune character and you're fighting a human torch she has to do two full combos before being incinerate immune so she might get melted before that so this list is simply just poison or just bleed resistant and immune characters and when it comes to just having a lot of bleeds i don't think anyone is better than omega red because he takes those which should be a negative for most characters and he heals from it and he deals extra damage from it so for me omega red is the best bleed immune character in the game so hopefully you guys enjoyed this list. Um, I'll put the top tens on the screen right now. So in 2020, it was Dragon Man, Sentinel, Black Widow, Clairvoyant, Warlock, Colossus, Geet, 2099, Corvus, CGR, Magneto, not Mega Red. And now it's Corvus, Ultron, Colossus, Warlock, CGR, Magneto, Omega Sentinel, Nimrod, Apocalypse, and Omega Red. Omega Red in the last two years, in my opinion, is still the number one bleeding man character. He, 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 like, if there's just a lot of bleeds, he's just so good. Unless it's a robot. It's a robot, he's awful. But, if you have Magneto on the team, they synergize and they cover each other's weaknesses. And, yeah, they're just god combo if you're dealing with bleeds. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Give a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.